Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. Per Wayne's request, I'll give a disclaimer right now that my voice is not so good, so I apologize if it's a little bit difficult to understand me. I'll do my best. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold here. Um, I found this product on Amazon that I thought was really cool. It has like these three uh, chambers, and each chamber at different levels has a little magnifier and the chambers are separate they're each airtight and uh, the stand comes apart I mean it's literally just three pieces the base this piece here and then our lid which already has holes in it and it also came with um, some compost thermometers that you can um, put through the holes it's hard to do this and look through the camera at various um, levels in your compost to monitor temperatures as your food decomposes and I think it's a really cool thing especially for for children because you can really watch in each chamber but I'm a child at heart and I love the composting thing so I thought it would be pretty cool to share and do it along with you guys too because we can see all the layers without even having to dig through it um, so I'm not exactly sure I keep going back and forth what I want to do with this um, but I'm thinking what I might do is um, uh, some red wigglers in the middle, some uh, European night crawlers on the left here, and some African night crawlers on the right. And um, maybe we'll start with, I don't know, 10 or 12 worms of each, um, throw them in there, and then put similar feedings into each and just watch it. This isn't so much an experiment um, as far as something I'm going to do scientifically, but just something fun to see. Um, how the different worms work and what happens. So as you can see, I already put some shredded um, cardboard in here. And I'm sorry, setting this up is hard because since it's see-through, I was trying to put a solid base behind it so that you could see better. Um, but I hope I hope that's coming through okay. So let me go get some worms, some water uh, to wet down our bedding. Um, get a little something for them to eat and we'll get this set up. I just thought this would be something really fun to try in the new year. Um, also be an option for families wanting to start out small and get their kids interested. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Let me get everything together and we'll get it started. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna add some water to each of these chambers. My water bottle has seen better days. It's sprung leaks everywhere. I have to make a new one soon. This one will finally hit the recycle bin. Just gonna add a little bit to each of these. Make sure it penetrates to the bottom without having any standing liquid. So I'll let this sit for a few minutes absorb some of this moisture and then we'll add the worms. Alright guys, so I have um, three containers of worms. I let the moisture, uh, the water that I added kind of settle down, made sure there was no standing liquid in the bottom, which is easy to tell because you can lift this up. You can see it's most moist at the bottom because it's darker, but in general um, there's no standing liquid maybe a hair in this side compartment, but there's still plenty to absorb it. And I pulled out, um, I was gonna just count like 10 worms, but I ended up just taking a handful out of a pocket in each of my systems that had a decent number of worms in it. And I pulled out the compost that the worms were in as well, cause it will inoculate the spin and get it moving a little bit quicker. Um, somebody had suggested the other day to me or asked why I didn't inoculate some of my systems when I started and um, they're right it takes a longer amount of time for it to get going without that so I decided to do that and that helps get the microbial activity working and um, so therefore the worms get to work um, more readily so over here is my European night crawlers in the middle here is my red wigglers And on the right here, I have my African night crawlers. So, uh, what I'm gonna do very, very, very first is I'm gonna add some <clears throat> crushed eggshell, just a little sprinkling in each 
section here. Grit for the worms, it's pH balance, kind of does a little bit of everything. And I'm not going to mix it in, it'll work its way in as the worms move around in there. And that's about an equal amount in each. I'm just going to give a very small amount of food. I have some, these shockingly were pea shoots in my refrigerator that got pushed to the back and completely dried out. So um, I'm just going to add a little handful of, of these to each of the, the sections here. Actually, don't know how well this is going to break up for me. Okay, I think I got it. Handful there. Again, this is not a scientific thing, so I'm not worrying about equal amounts, just eyeballing it. All right, so I did that, and then I'm just gonna add a little um, pinch of coffee grounds to each as well. I um, save my coffee grounds, so I'll add a pinch here. Pinch over here and over here as well and now it's time to add our worms and I'm not gonna mix the food in I'm not gonna bury it it does have a good lid here and I'm gonna put a little piece of um, paper towel over the top in each section to try to encourage the worms to stay down in the bottom but um, I'm gonna show you guys the worms as I add them to the systems here. So these are our European night crawlers. It's probably, I don't know, 20 or so in here roughly. So, set them over the top and let them work their way in just for reference this is uh what the european night crawlers look like they have that nice bulging clitellum they're longer and fatter than the red wigglers and they have kind of a yellowish tail end if you can see that over here but the banding is usually a pretty dead giveaway red worms also have the banding but they're just much smaller worms all right, so we have our European night crawlers in there. Our red wigglers are going to go into our center section. Oh, I'm going to make a mess here. Better pick this up so I don't drop stuff on the floor. Looks like these guys burrow down a little bit better. Again, though, I think I at least have 20 or 30 worms in here because these are smaller worms. And I took them straight out of a pocket of food where they were pretty busy. The compost that they're in is so dark it's hard to even make them out. But there's a good deal of them in here. Same deal, I'm not going to mix them in, just let them settle in on their own. And the last worms that we have are the African night crawlers. They're the largest by far of our worms. Let some of this extra fall down in here. <clears throat> I've already got worms dangling off my hand. <clears throat> These are much, much larger worms. They're feistier. They have a um, kind of neon hue. If you catch them in the right, right light, it's almost like a purple hue. And if they stretch out, they're like over a foot long when they stretch out, it's insane. So let me add these. I'll try to let you guys see it. My positioning is a little funny around this camera. <clears throat> I'll pull one of these guys out for you guys to see. This is a relatively small one, actually. They get much larger than this. This is obviously a mature worm, though. See, they just have like a darker, jeez, sorry guys, uh, compost just fell on me, I thought it was a bug. Um, there's a baby there as well, but they're feisty. 
He's all over the place. That baby stuck on my hand. I'll push that baby in there as well. Um, but that's pretty much all I'm going to do to set this up. Um, sorry it's got a little bit lengthy, but I, I uh, had planned this out and I knew it would take me a little while. So I tried to do a few shorter videos earlier this week so I didn't overwhelm you guys with uh, too much content. But it'll just be interesting to see how each of these sections go. Like I said, it's not scientific in, in any nature. This is just more for fun. Um, we'll get to see them all side by side and, um, we can monitor temperatures, just do fun stuff that maybe, you know, you could do with your kids at home. Um, I don't have kids, but I, <clears throat> I certainly know plenty of kids in my life that might really enjoy coming over and checking this out. So, um, I'm going to pop this lid on and put these thermometers in here just so that I don't lose them. I'll just loosely let it rest on top of the um, paper towel for now. I'm not going to try to bury it deep and check a temperature per se, but just so it's in here. And so you see how that, that looks. They just kind of stick out of there, but you can position it and scooch it down different areas and uh, test it. And then of course it already has the air holes up top for us. So I'm going to find a little spot to leave this where it, it will at least get semi dark um, at night and also that they'll work all the way up along the edges. And we'll give them about a week to settle in and hopefully start working on some of the material we put in there. And uh, I'm so sorry guys. And then I'll come back and follow up and we'll see uh, how everything's going. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.